Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. And in today's video, I'm going to share the second part of my favorite games to play remotely with friends and family. In this video, I'll talk about games you can play over Zoom. So in my last video, I covered two popular game platforms, Jackbox and House Party app games. In this video, I'm going to share some of the games that you can play remotely over Zoom, the video conferencing app. I'm going to go from my favorite to least favorite games. First, Codenames. So Codenames is a really fun board game where you split everyone up into two teams, red and blue. You need at least four people to play. The game board looks like this, and each card is a spy codename. Each team elects a spy master who has access to a card that shows which of these cards are red spies, which are blue, and which are casual bystanders, and which one is the assassin. Essentially, spy masters give the rest of their team one word hints that could indicate more than one card so that they can guess which code names are their own spies. The first team who guesses all of their team's spies wins. If you guess one and it's a spy for the other team, well, you just scored a point for them. Bystanders don't help or hurt you, but if you guess the assassin, it's game over, you lose. So that is a super brief overview of the game, but the good news is that there is a free online version so that you can play it over Zoom. So you're going to set up a Zoom call for everyone to join and assign people to red and blue teams, uh, choosing a spy master for each team. Now you're going to go to www.horsepaste.com and start a new game. So don't worry about stopping the video to write down the URL. I'm going to have it in the description section below. Or you can go to my website that has all of my video scripts, marblejar.net. So once you start a new game, you'll need to text this link up here to the two Spy Masters. Explain to them how to view the Spy Master card by clicking on Spy Master down here. No one else needs the link since you are going to share your screen with everyone on Zoom by clicking on Share Screen down here. Okay, so now as the team's guests, and you can participate in this as well, um, you as the host will need to click on the cards to turn them over and show whether they are red spies, blue spies, bystanders, or the assassin. It's great fun and allows for lots of interaction and good-natured ribbing. Next, Psych. Okay, so this is already a game that you play over an app, so everyone needs to have downloaded the Psych app on their phones before getting on the Zoom that you have set up. As the host, you open the app on your phone and you start a game choosing one of the packs that they include for free. You can get additional packs for about a dollar a piece. Once you hit play, you can ask others to join your game by hitting join a game and entering the secret code. Once everyone has joined, hit start game. The point of this game is to make up believable answers to real trivia questions. Everyone chooses which answer they think is correct, and if someone chooses your fake answer, you get points. It all happens on the app, but when you all join a Zoom together, you can interact and chat as you are playing, just like you were sitting in a living room together. The next game is Scattergories. Okay, so for this game, everyone's going to need a piece of paper and something to write with. Have everyone join a Zoom call. You can play as individuals, but it might be more fun to play in small teams. For teams, since you need for them to work together privately, you um, can have teams with everyone in a single location, like a family, or you can put your Zoom on mute and have the teams conference call with each other. As the host, you're going to go to swellgarfo.com slash categories. Again, this is going to be down in the description. And then share your screen with everyone on Zoom. So the goal of this game is to come up with unique words that all start with the letter shown here that fit into each of these 12 categories. So as soon as you uncover the categories, the teams or individuals will try to come up with unique words that fit that category since each unique answer is going to be awarded one point. If you have the same answer as someone else, you don't get a point. Everyone will have to go by the honor system when they are checking their answers. Okay, the next game is charades. Start a Zoom for everybody to join, then send out a link to www.getcharadesideas.com. This website just pumps out prompts for charades. Hit give me another for the next prompt. So each person gets a certain amount of time, say three minutes, to act out as many prompts as possible, getting points for each one people guess correctly. You can do several rounds of this, switching off who is doing the acting, and the actor with the highest number of points wins. Trivia. So I haven't really done this successfully, but you can do this in one of two ways. If you just want to throw out some random trivia questions to your friends on Zoom, go to www.randomtriviagenerator.com to generate some questions. If you want to make the trivia quiz more formalized with a leaderboard and a winner, you can generate a quiz on myquiz.org. 
Everyone will need to sign up for an account on this website in advance, but you can generate a quiz with pre-made questions or you can do your own quiz with your own qu custom questions. In addition, you can, you can play the game Two Truths and a Lie by having everyone submit two true things and one false thing about themselves in advance and then put that into a custom quiz for everyone to answer. And finally, Pictionary. So if you've seen the first part of the series, you'll know that I think the best way to play Pictionary is on House Party. But if you don't want to sign up for that app, there are ways to play it over Zoom. So start a Zoom meeting for everyone to join. You as the host should go to sketchful.io and choose custom game. So copy the URL down here and text it to everyone to invite them to join your game. Your friends will need to bring this link up on a device like their phone that has a touch screen for drawing. When everyone has joined, push start to begin the game. The game will tell you who is drawing and allow them to pick a prompt. So the biggest problem with this format is that in order to advance to the next prompt, someone actually has to type in the answer into the comments since it's actually designed to play without sounds. So my suggestion is that in order to make it more interactive, go ahead and let people shout out the answers, but once they get it right, have the person who answered correctly type that answer into the comments so that they can get the credit for it. As I said, it's not perfect, but you can make it work. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.